Salvete omnes. Uh, mihi nomen est Magister Ioannis Piazza. Uh, ego docio in uh, scuola secundaria nomine uh, Berkeley High. It is in uh, Berkeley. High. Et uh, volo vobis uh, hodie demonstrare um, de um, arte loquendi latine. Uh, all that to say, hi, uh, my name is John Piazza. I am a Latin teacher here in uh, Berkeley, California. And uh, I wanted to make a few short video tutorials. Uh, this would be for teachers and for students. And the goal of this is just to get teachers and students speaking Latin a bit more. And this could be for something to do in your classroom. And hopefully this could be something that would extend beyond the classroom for you and your students. Um, I think that there's a real desire on the part of students and teachers to do more Latin speaking in class, but um, people don't always know exactly where or how to begin. So I wanted to offer in these short videos um, a few of the first steps, uh, some specific steps in terms of how uh, you could start speaking Latin and uh, and using it um, in a more personal way, uh, either in the classroom or beyond the classroom, or at events like a uh, Cana Latina, a spoken Latin dinner, or uh, maybe something having to do with a junior classical league event, or just hanging out and doing it Latine. So um, I just wanted to start with the real simple basics today um, about how to do a greeting, um, say what your name is and um, and a few things about your your background and your day so I'm gonna write some phrases up here on the board and um, I hope to post some simple documents um, in the description of these videos as well so hopefully you'll see some links there and if not you will soon uh, let's look at the first one okay obviously you're going to uh, want to greet people and the way you greet people is by saying sal Way. Salve. Hello. Greetings. If you're talking to more than one person, like a group, you'll introduce and, and you want to you wanna say hi to more than one person, you'll say salvete. Salvete. So if you go to someone, salve, salve. Or salvete. And if you're in a group and you're addressing one person, you're not going to say salvete. You're going to look at that person and say salve. Uh, another way to say greetings, if you want to mix it up, is to say Salvus Sis or Salwa, right? Salvus or Salwa Sis. And this is a little bit fancier because we've got the subjunctive form of S, right? Now it's uh, I desire or command you to, uh, to be well. Uh, so you can go up to someone and say, ah, salvasis, or salvusis. That's another alternative. And you can obviously respond with the same thing. Um, if you want to ask how someone's doing, there are a few ways to say that. One way is, quo te habes. Quo modo te habes. Literally, uh, in what manner do you, do you have yourself? Uh, how are you doing, basically? Como do te habes? And uh, another way to say that is ut ut vales. How are you doing? Ut vales. That's a simpler one, and I find that's, uh, that's a little easier to do. Now, if you want to respond to this, there are a number of ways to respond. And you can respond by saying, I am well. So you can say bene, you can just say bene. Uh, if you wanna be a little more um, literal in your response, you could say bene me habeo, all right? Bene me habeo, you could say bene. You could say male, if you're not feeling so well. You could say sat bene, which is good enough, sat bene. So again, we could say, salve, ut vales? And your response could be, ah, bene me habeo, gratias, or 
male me habeo. Vel sat bene. Here are some other adverbs you can use to talk about your state of mind or how you're doing. You might say, Fessus sum, or fessa sum, which means tired. Again, uh, you don't necessarily have to say habeo, right? Me habeo, because it's not really an adverb, this is an adjective. So you might say fessus or fessa sum. Fessa sum, hodie. Mm. You could also say, if you're not feeling, you know, too happy, you could say, Tristis sum. I'm sad. You could also say something like anxious or anxiasum. Sometimes we're nervous, we're anxious, especially if you've come to school and you have a big test or presentation or something. So you can say, ah, salve utuales, ah, um, anxious or anxiasum. So, um, so these are just a few things that you can say, right? Um, there, there are many others, and, uh, and uh, you can look at some other resources for, uh, for other words to add there. But the idea is there's an initial exchange where you're just saying, hello, uh, how are you doing, um, etc., and you're responding with a few things. Um, again, if someone says they're not doing so well, you could respond with pro dolor. All right? Oh, what a shame. Pro dolor. Um, maybe cur. Right? Cur. Why? Um, again, you might be starting a conversation that can't be finished, so you want to make sure that people you're, you're asking further questions from, that they have enough uh, uh, language to respond to. But we'll, we'll talk more about that in, uh, in upcoming videos. So um, the other thing uh, is, obviously, you're going to be encountering people that you might not know them too well. Maybe people in your class, you don't know their names yet. Um, that happens, right? So um, uh, it's good to know how to ask someone's name. So then you'd start with Salwe, and then you could, uh, you could ask, what is your name, right? Um, there are a few ways to ask people's names, and some people could be sticklers for this or that form, but uh, I find that just for my beginning students, the easiest phrase is quid tibi nomen est. Quid tibi nomen est. Quid tibi nomen est. We like to do a little chant sometimes too. Mihi. That's the response. So, quid, or some people say quod because it's which name, but you can say what as well. Quid tibi nomen est. What is the name to you, or what is your name? The response, mihi nomen est, and then you say what your name is. And so you could do a little call and response for practice. Quid tibi nomen est, mihi nomen est. Quid tibi nomen est, mihi nomen est. Uh, so you can ask your name uh, and respond, and the other person can say uh, the same thing. Uh, quid tibi nomen est, uh, mihi nomen est, etc. Uh, so that's a way to start, getting to know each other, greeting people if you, uh, if you, if you know them already. Um, let's see. How about, uh, where do you live? Where do you live? That's a good one. Because you can respond in a number of ways. You could say you live in a, in a country. You could say you live in a, in a city. You could say you live in a neighborhood. And if you don't know the Latin word for these, you can still respond with a proper name. And that's fine. It's really, it's okay, especially for beginners. So, uh, uh, ubi habitas. Where do you live? Ubi habitas. Um, and then you can respond with habito in, and then you could add whatever you want there. If you know a fancy name for a city, town, whatever, uh, you can do that. But you can also just say the name of the city or the name of the town, etc. So, uh, ubi habitas, habito in uh, Chicago. That's fine. You may not know the Latin word for, you know, Chicago or however people say it. Uh, you could say habito in New York, even if you don't know. Uh, habito in Novo Eboraco. Um, habito in Oakland, not Habito in Quercupodi. Uh, you, again, you can, uh, if you want to get fancy and learn the official Latin name of where you are, that's fine. Uh, habito in, uh, uh, 
Habito in, you know, on a street. You don't have to know the name of the street in Latin. Uh, but uh, just, just giving some, some, some personal information about where you live. Uh, and uh, um, and uh, uh, and that's a good place to stop right now. Again, I have more to share with you. I just want to keep these little demo videos short. But in summary, uh, we've basically talked a little bit about just a basic greeting, uh, how, to, how to say hello, um, how to ask how you're doing with a couple responses, how to ask somebody's name, and uh, how to ask uh, where they live. So um, I hope this is helpful. And um, stay tuned for the next episode. And until then, uh, you know, take a little time to uh, practice your Latin and uh, bring it to life uh, through using it uh, in your daily life, whether that's in the classroom or beyond. Valete omnes.